Good afternoon, everyone. This is attorney Stephen Sabre. You're listening to A Law Talk on 1480 WSAR, our call in number 508 673 1480. And we do this show every Tuesday from 1 to 2 p.m. And it's your opportunity to call in with any law related questions. Hello? Hello. Yes, sir. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. Hi. Uh, just a, a little story, and I'll just wait on your comment, if that's okay. Sure. Um, season tickets for the Patriots, uh, 13 years. Um, Lucky once you. Once you go there for that many years and sit in the same seat, you get to know people. And uh, a friend of ours that we started to know from New Hampshire, they couldn't have children, so they were adopting, and I had walked down to say hello, and blah, 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 I'm walking back to my seat, and there was a fight that breaks out. Well, security grabs me as I'm walking by, and they thought I was the person in the fight. Mm. So I get arrested. Mm. And everyone around me who knows me is saying, you got the wrong person, you got the wrong person. Now, to make a long story short, I appealed it four times. I went through Patriot Security, and you can see I'm just walking by the fight. And it was finally dismissed by the Commonwealth. But the judge made me pay the court cost for every single time that I was there, but I was 100% innocent, and I have it on video, and the arresting police officer dismissed it for mistaken identity. And if you could just comment on that, and I'll let you go. Okay. You. All right. Thanks for the call. Um, interesting uh, problem, and... and uh it's you know we're in a day and age of uh, surveillance videos and they seem to be everywhere and sometimes they're um, helpful and sometimes they're not and this this case seems to be uh, seem to be helpful um, it, to me and it's hard to know without being in the courtroom and listening to everything that happened. But to me, what sounds like happened is that um, there, there wasn't a trial. In other words, those are tough situations because um, in in general, uh, you, you know, certainly you'd be entitled to a, a trial. Not in general, you would be entitled to a, to a trial. You could object to a case being dismissed. I mean, that the, the judge would normally ask you, uh, sir, do you consent to the case being dismissed? You could say, no, I want a trial. And, uh, and then you have a trial. Uh, and then, you know, now if the, if the Commonwealth, for example, now pros the case, which is a Latin term for saying they're not going to prosecute it, then there wouldn't be any court costs. So they could control it that way, but you wouldn't have any court costs. So uh, if you say, no, I'm not going to pay any court costs, uh, then you go to trial and you go through that process and hopefully you'll be f be found not guilty but uh, generally speaking do you really want to do that do you want to put yourself through another court date or more and go through that trial and probably if you're smart hire a lawyer to defend you so that he or she knows all the ins and outs and all the rules uh, and the laws with regard to evidence and that type of thing uh, so what was offered to you is is commonly done uh, to me it shouldn't have been done if it was a, clearly a case of mistaken identity then they've already gotten their pound of flesh out of you by arresting you and having you in court four times but it's not unusual to see and hear about cases being dismissed on payment of court costs. It happens. It happens a lot. Uh, but uh, under your circumstances, if, as you say, it was a case of mistaken identity, it's clear on the surveillance they should have just dismissed the dismissed the case, uh, and you shouldn't have had to pay court costs. But again, sometimes from a the practicality standpoint, it, it may be better just to pay the court costs and get the case dismissed and, and get out of there as opposed to continuing it again for, for a trial. So I think that's the bottom line as to what, what happened well. there. All right, we're, we're close to the end of our hour here. I want to tell you how to reach me at the office. It's 508-674-0890 or my number at the office, 508-674-0890. What I do mostly is serious personal injury cases, workers' compensation and criminal defense. The office is located at 1026 County Street in Somerset. But on Tuesdays, I'm here. You've been listening to Attorney Stephen Sabra, Law Talk 1480 WSAR.